guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Monowska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in the Bay Area. Today I would like to talk about how to dress to court and how not to dress to court when let's say you have an appearance for a short class hearing whether it's Zoom or in person and you have a lawyer or you don't have a lawyer. So first thing first, when you have a lawyer, your lawyer probably will be dressed very professionally in a suit. So to not confuse a clerk, I tell my clients to not wear a suit because that's how we see and determine lawyers. And sometimes it came to the confusion where um, a clerk was referring to a, a client thinking that it's a lawyer. So, however, there are lots of good options. First, I like to uh, suggest to my clients to wear something clean um, and one tone color. For example, either it's blue or white, something uh, fresh. It gives, as you know, first impression counts and the court and everyone else, it, 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 feels, um, it feels good to see someone dressed well and clean. I don't mean well in terms of expensive. For example, if you're on minimum wage asking for child support and dress up completely uh, Gucci, Armani, Chanel, then it might not be that appropriate. So what I mean is simple and clean. So it could be white shirt and a skirt or jeans or something, something um, that you feel comfortable. And I know some people are in COVID not willing to dress up a lot and they feel comfortable in a lot of things. I suggest to avoid sweatbands, sweatshirts. It, court, court typically is impartial and should be. However, when someone is disrespecting the court, it, it just gives a little bit of a bittersweet feeling, not so sweet, but actually bitter when someone is sort of, I, I, had, I had a case where my client, the only time I didn't tell him how to dress because I assumed he had a business, $35 million, very, very uh, uh, solid business. And when I arrived, I was of course dressed up, suit, black suit, and then he showed up in uh, sweatpants and sweatshirt. So, well, you can imagine, uh, it just didn't feel good. So I suggest uh, to avoid bright colors, avoid pink, avoid um, disturbing patterns because when someone is testifying and people have to look at you, it, it can be a little disturbing to see lots of, lots of uh, tones. And it's just keep it one, I, I suggest to my client to keep it one tone. And then finally, the most important thing is that the client who testifies, who sits in in chair is feeling comfortable. So I suggest to not wear something completely, completely opposite to what you have been used. I had a client who was testifying um, in a trial and he said, I, I just can't wear a, a white shirt. Sorry, it just doesn't fit me well and I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. And so that's when we picked um, uh, actually not a sweatshirt, but something comfortable that looked still uh, formal, but comfortable. So there are lots of different uh, options and it did go well for him because he did feel good in his skin. So it's, it's, an, it's a balance. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, ask them in the section down below. And if you like the video, click like, and I will see you soon. Bye.